Bright red carnations on the tablecloth. Alright guys, hope you're doing well. Right, I've got some old tools that I want to show you. And before I start, I want you to send me some pictures of your, your old tools, your old travels, funny, oddly shaped things. Because a guy who watches the channel, Les Gill, he sent me a picture of his old travel and I thought it was really cool to see it. I'll show you that picture now. This is, this is Les's travel. That must have been his first travel and he's had it for all his life, I'd imagine. So I think, yeah, this is my first troll and it's something you treasure a lot. You know, when you've got your first troll, it's something special about it. It's very hard to explain, but yeah, this is my first troll. It's Marshall Town, and I'm never going to lose, never going to lose it, never going to part with it. Uh, I call it a shark's tooth because it's shaped like a shark's tooth. Dead, dead sharp. It's like, um, it's like a, a Stanley knife blade. But yeah, that's my old Marshall Town. Some of you have seen it before, but... It's still in good nick, actually. It's solid troll, these, honestly. Can't go wrong with Marshall Town. They're really good. Uh, yeah, looked after it. Still in immaculate condition. The blade. Handle's really solid as well. It's had some fur whack, but it's still in good nick. Love that. So, send me pictures of your old trolls. Also, check this out. Just to give you a comparison, this is my new ox. Right, look at the size of that. Th those were the same size trolls at one stage. Like, if I can just show you there, back to back, look how much they've changed. Crazy, isn't it? This is my old S-Wing brick hammer. That's all as well, my first ever S-Wing brick hammer. That's still in good shape and looks awesome. Let's cut some brick, I tell you. The handle's a little bit knackered, but... There you go. S-Wing, good US brand. And last but not least, look at this bad boy. This is a tuck iron, which I got off eBay for 32 quid. I think it's called a tuck iron, or a tuck pointer. Look at that old style wooden handle there. Yeah, and it's got, it's got an engraving on it. And the engraving says, uh, is it T sorbed of Sheffield? Or, yeah, T dot sorbed. Sheffield, well, I don't know if they watch the channel or, or anything, but yeah, that is a cool piece of kit. Hoping to use that sometime in the future on a nice little job. So that's my tuck iron. Hard to come by them actually. There's the shark's teeth in a little bit more detail. It says on there, warning, wear safety goggles. Stew, especially you lad. Right, there it is, that's solid metal. That's lasted an eternity. Right then guys, there we have it. That is my old tools. I really want you to send me pictures of your old tool because it would be cool to put them on the channel and there's all kinds of tools, ones I've pr probably never even seen before. So yeah, thanks Les for sending yours in. That's what's really inspired this video. So send them all in on my Facebook page. You search Stu Crompton, not my personal page, my Facebook page. And yeah, I'll feature them in a video soon, hopefully. As you'll notice also, I'm in a bit of a different location. More about that in another video. But that's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like rating. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you tomorrow with more KC's top tips. Yeah,